What's up, fellas? Hello, Buck. That was an ugly one on Saturday. I mean, just an awful first quarter. The whole game was awful. And, uh, you know, it's a, you hate to have a game like that in the playoffs. But, uh, you know, hopefully they'll bounce back tonight and come back with a little more aggress- aggression. And uh, uh, they just need to be really more uh, more aggressive and, and, and focused and uh, tenacious. What do you think of this whole Keith Morris and uh, Paul Millsap you know, the spats that they're having after the game. It seems like with Morris anyway, he's spending a little bit too much energy, you know, talking to media about it instead of trying to defend the guy because Millsap had a bomb game in game three. Well, Millsap's an all-star, and he's uh, good. So uh, that's going to happen. I don't think – I don't see a whole lot of – energy being expended i mean he's he's talking you know they're they're getting into it a little bit and that happens sometimes especially in the playoffs and now as as uh, as they said it's personal but uh you know his defense is pretty good on the guy but Millsap's a really good player and he's a very physical player too that's the other thing you got to remember i mean you know and and in the playoffs the way the guys, these guys referee the games, uh, you never know how they're going to call it. But they tend to let them be a little more physical. So, um, uh, you know, I'd like to see Keith get a little more involved offensively and get some rebounds. And he needs to, you know, start getting some points. He's struggled the last couple of games. But uh, defensively, I think he's still – he does as good a job as you can do. The guy's a really good player. Yeah, we were talking about this earlier, that if Scott Brooks and the Wizards are going to change their approach, I wonder if they would consider throwing more double teams at him or just forcing him to hit the jumper because it seems like they're biting on his pump fake over and over again. Make him hit some outside shots. Well, as Mike Budenholzer said, who's their coach, you got to pick your poison with us. Uh, you know, the first game they did a really good job, the first two games, of defending the three and keeping Atlanta's percentage at like 26% from three-point range, which is good because the Wizards have struggled doing that. But then you get inside play or you get a guy like like uh, Millsap who can back you down or whatever, and points in the paint is a problem. So, uh, you know, you you got to figure out who you're going to cover. Is it going to be him or are you going to try to – I think they're going to try to put a little more pressure on uh, Dennis Schroeder, who's really hurt them. I mean, he's been good. He's quick. He's like Wall in the sense that he can get past you. And he's gotten in the paint a lot, and he's finishing, which is really good. He's he's a hell of a player. So uh, I think they need. I think they're going to plan to maybe put a little more pressure on him initially, not let him just stroll across midcourt and uh, and find guys because that's what he's been doing. And uh, and he's 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 a tough player. He's having a heck of a series. Hmm. John's having an unbelievable series. I mean, I think he's fifth in all of uh, the NBA in the playoffs here in scoring, shooting a ridiculous percentage. Uh, and, and Bradley's scoring, but he's, he's shooting a low percentage, really struggling from threes. Is there is there something going on there that we don't know about, or is it just sort of a bad stretch for him? No. Well, the last game was was a bad game for Beal. And um, I don't know, he went like six for 20, I think, from the field and had 12 hmm. points. So, uh, And Scott Brooks isn't worried about that. He's Look, I just guy got some good shots. He didn't knock them down. There are going to be games where that happens, but he wants him to keep shooting, and and really he should because uh, he's that kind of a player. So, you know, the, there were uh, the the team had a lot of good looks in the last game, and they really just didn't hit shots. Uh, and then defensively, there were obvious breakdowns. So there were a lot of backdoor passes. A lot of guys break into the basket, and and you know, Wizards losing their man and not focusing and staying with them. So. You know, I'll tell you the truth, guys, I just I just see a much more focused effort tonight, and it'll have to be, otherwise they won't win. But they, they, they have to be more focused and more aggressive, and I think that's what you're going to see tonight. And then hopefully, you know, some of these shots will get knocked down. Yeah, Wall is, Wall is at an outrageous level. Uh, the other got to help him. It's got to be somebody to come through, you know, Porter or mm-hmm. maybe Bogdanovich or something hot and starts making some shots. Talking to Steve Buckhans from CSN, you know, I wanted to ask you about the two guys you just mentioned, uh, as we call them here on the show, Bobo Drano and Otto. I mean, there was a period of time where Otto was the best three-point shooter in the NBA. He cooled off in the really the last couple of months, and the same thing with Bogdanovich. I mean, he came out of the gates and he was tearing it up, and lately he really hasn't found himself. I mean, he'll, he'll score a bucket or two, but he hasn't had those big performances like he had earlier on. What's going on there? I wish I knew. I, um, I I agree with you 100%. I mean, he was outrageous when they got him. I mean, he was just and, – and, 
you know, that was expected. I mean, we've been watching him for a couple of years, and he's a great three-point shooter. Uh, struggles a little bit on defense, but he's he's a great shooter and haven't seen that lately. So I don't know whether it's the fact that he just isn't getting really good looks or he's just not knocking them down or he's, he's pressuring too much. I, I don't know. Um, and then Otto, you know, it still gives you the game that he gave you when he was at Georgetown. He, he hustles all over the court. He keeps balls alive. He's, he's everywhere. Uh, but he, he, too, is not getting the same kind of shots that he's been getting. And I think that teams started focusing on him a lot. You know, you're right. He was the number one three-point shooter in the league for over two months. And he finished up fourth in the, in the league in three-point shooting. But he hasn't been the same lately. And, um, again, I think teams are a little bit more aware of how good he's been or what a, a good shooter he can be. And they put some more pressure on him. So... I think teams have adjusted to the Wizards lately uh, after the All-Star break to, to try to, you know, not ex- expose weaknesses, but at least put some pressure on them.